Hello and welcome to Mr. Thompson's Math Tutorials. Today we're going to learn how to use tape diagrams to solve ratio problems. So I have this problem here. It's, a, it's about a survey. So a survey results show that the ratio between dark chocolate lovers and milk chocolate lovers is 3 to 5. In this survey, 12 people said they like dark chocolate. And I'm asking how many people like milk chocolate. And I would really like us to use a tape diagram to solve this problem. I also have a follow-up problem down here. Um, using that same information from the survey. And we'll get to that in a minute. So the first thing I need to do is create a, date, a tape diagram. Now I would normally just draw a quick draw of this, but um, since I'm using the computer here, I've used a table. So in my uh, tape diagram, I'm going to use the information from the, the question. Specifically, I want to use the ratio. So the ratio is 3 to 5. That means I need 8 segments in my tape diagram, or 8 pieces, 8 parts, however you want to refer to them. Um, that's 3 plus 5. So you can see that 3 of, of, the, of five pe 3 out of 8 people really like um, dark chocolate, and 5 out of 8 really like milk chocolate. So I'm going to have 8 pieces. 3 of them are represented by this yellow are the dark chocolate pieces, and this peach color represents the five people who like milk chocolate. I'm going to label my tape diagram so I know which segment corresponds with which segment. So you can see that I have uh, DC, DC, DC here. This is dark chocolate, and then I have MC five times. That's representing the milk chocolate. Now, another piece of information I know is that 12 people like dark chocolate. So this segment right here, these three pieces, represents 12 people. Now I've got to evenly distribute those 12 people over these three segments. So I need to find out um, how I can evenly distribute 12 over three pieces. Well that happens to be a division problem. That's 12 divided by 3 and I can see that the answer to that is 4. So I'm going to write 4 in each one of these pieces. Now because Four because this tape diagram represents even pieces, I can write four in each one of these segments, including the milk chocolate segments. And really, at this point, I've answered my question that there are 20 people who like milk chocolate. But in order to answer the next question, I need to go just a little bit further. And how am I going further? I'm figuring out the total number of people that were asked this question. And in this case, it's 32. That's 12 plus 20. Now I can answer my original question, and this is it being answered right here, so 20 people like milk chocolate. But this 32 is going to become important in this next part of the question. Because the next part of the question says, it was also found in the same survey that the ratio of people who like nuts in their chocolate compared to those who do not like nuts in their chocolate was 1 to 3. So I'm asking how many people dislike nuts in their chocolate. So. In a similar process, I need to create a tape diagram. So, and in this tape diagram, I am noting that there are um, one person, one segment that don't like nuts, and that there are three segments that do like nuts. Now, it's the same survey, so this whole thing, the sort of yellowish color and the blue here, represent 32 people. Um, that's important for answering this question. Now. I need to evenly distribute these 32 people over the four segments. So again, I'm going to do a division problem, and the division problem here is 32 divided by 4. 32 divided by 4 is 8, so I'm going to write my 8 in each one of these. Now, I can tell the people who don't like nuts are this blue section right here. And that's going to be 8 times 3, because there are three segments that have 8 people each, and that's equal to 24. And then simply finishing off my problem, I say that there are, I write that there are 24 people who do not like nuts in their chocolate. Thank you for watching.